So a lot of people think the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max action button is basic, but that's only the case if you don't know how to use it. You can actually have multiple actions like setting up your VPN to turn on with one click, and then also in that same section, just click one more time to silence it, click again to turn on your flashlight, click again to turn it off, and even click again to open up your camera, all within the same shortcut. And I'm going to show you in this video how to set up these multi-functions as well as a full menu to choose from. So if you don't know how to use the action button like this, this video is for you. Let's get started. So what you saw during that intro was some of the power and abilities of the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max action button. And all I did was hold my phone different ways and it would allow me to perform different actions with the iPhone. So I can send out a tweet if I hold it that way. I can also silence my phone if I hold it like this. I can turn on my flashlight if I hold it like this. Turn it off and so on. And I'm going to show you how to set this up and it's all done by holding your phone in different orientations. Now we're going to be covering a lot of things here so I strongly recommend you watch the entire video to ensure the shortcuts and the action button work exactly as they should. There are chapters so you can skip ahead and there's always a link in the description to the full iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max tips and tricks playlist. But let's jump right into this and go through a couple of steps. First we need to download this action app. Open the App Store, type in Actions at the top here. When you see this one pop up right here, tap, download it, it's free, and it sets up the ability to move your phone around in different ways, and then the Action button performs other things. Once you have that, it'll look like this on screen. You can tap on this and then tap Open Shortcuts, and it'll create this new shortcut for you. Or you can just tap on Shortcuts on your phone, it'll open up a page like this, and then you can tap up here to open up a new shortcut. Now, the first thing you always want to do when you create a shortcut is change the name so you know what it is. So because this one is orientation based, we're going to tap rename. Let's just call this orientation uh, action number two, because I already have one, I believe, with that name. So we'll tap done. You can also change this little icon to have it as a different color. So if you wanted it to be dark blue and then let's say with the binoculars or even with the map, you could change that as well. That way, you know exactly which one you're choosing a little bit later on. Once you have the name set up, tap Add Action, and this is where you're going to see all the categories you can choose from. Just scroll around or even tap on Apps, and you'll be able to see all the apps that you can add within these shortcuts. So we're going to just search first, and the one we want is based around orientation. So we're going to type in Orientation, and you want to tap on Get Device Orientation. And that starts the shortcut. Next, you have some action suggestions here. And the one we need is if. So if we tap on that, it's going to add an if statement here. And it says device orientation. We need to set a condition, is. And then we'll tap on unknown. And this is where we can choose what position the phone's in to perform whatever action we choose. So let's start with the phone being landscape right. And landscape right is like this. So when the button is on top and you turn your phone like this. That's landscape right. So we've chosen that one and let's make it simple. We're gonna tap down here to search for the apps and let's say we just want a video camera. So we want our video to start. So we'll just start typing in video. You can see it says take video, camera mode. We're gonna choose take video. We're gonna tap and hold and then you wanna drag it underneath that statement we just created. Now, when, now, on a lot of these that you choose, you'll see that it'll say take video with back. We can tap on those and there's extra options here. So you can choose to use your front camera, back camera, and so on. We're going to leave it on back because it's the better camera. And then you also have an arrow here. When you see that, it'll give you another set of options. So the quality that you can choose from. You also have the option to start recording immediately or if you want it to just open the video camera and then you have to tap on the record button. But we'll say immediately so we can capture that moment. And now that we've set that up, we can tap done. And we've set up our first action with the action button in the shortcuts app. Now the next step is to open up settings and set up the action button. So we'll tap action button. And no matter what you're on here, it doesn't matter. You just wanna to navigate to shortcuts and then tap the option down here and choose the one you just created. 
So mine is called orientation action two. Yours may be called something else. If you have a lot of shortcuts, just use the search box up here and start typing it and it should pop up and then just tap on it and it'll now use that shortcut. So let's give it a quick test here. We're gonna bring our phone into the orientation landscape, right, press and hold on our action button and immediately our rear facing camera is now recording. Now, obviously, the point of this video is to give you multiple actions. So to add more actions, you're going to open your shortcuts again, tap on the three dotted button there, and we're going to add another if statement. So we're going to tap on if, and then we're going to tap on it and drag it underneath the otherwise option here. It's going to populate device orientation. We're going to tap the condition and set it to is once again, and unknown, we're going to choose another section. So we're going to say portrait. Now portrait is just when you're holding the phone straight up like this. Okay, so that's portrait mode. And for portrait, we're going to choose another action here. So let's say we wanted to scan a document. So we'll say scan here and tap scan. So if you didn't know, you can actually scan documents with the iPhone. And we have the option here, we'll just tap and scroll it underneath. So now in portrait mode, when we have the phone, it'll open up the scan document option on the iPhone. We'll set up one more here. So we'll tap another if statement drag it underneath the other otherwise and it'll populate it like that tap the condition is and then tap unknown and we can then choose here so let's say face down now from here again you can just choose whatever action you want we'll just choose here flashlight for this flashlight and it's a set flashlight set led we want set flashlight right here and we'll tap again drag that underneath and you can see what it's saying here. It's saying turn flashlight on. But I'll show you if you tap on turn, you have an option for toggle. I don't see why you would want it to just turn on. You'd want it to toggle on and off. So for example, we'll tap done. Put our phone face down. So anytime it's just being held downwards and you press and hold, the flashlight will turn on. Because we set it to toggle, we can press and hold it again. It'll toggle it on or off. If you did leave it to just on, You'd have no way of turning it off with the action button, which makes no sense to me. So make sure that you check out those toggles if it says turn on. And it'll be the same with other options you choose here as well. Now you can continue adding more if statements underneath all the otherwise options that appear for all the different angles you hold the phone. And that'll give you multi-button actions with the action button. But for those of you who want to have a full menu when you press and hold on the action button, all you have to do is create one that looks like this and you can have your menu going as far down as you want with all the options as complicated as you want to be set up right there. So the way you do this is again, we're gonna open shortcuts and you don't need actions for this. So if you don't wanna download the actions app, you can use a menu without it. Open shortcuts, we'll tap the plus. And again, we're gonna rename it. So let's just call this one menu two change that as well if you want so we'll tap done change this icon to whatever you want and then you're going to tap add action from here we're just going to tap in the search and type in menu choose from menu or choose from list we're going to tap choose from menu and this is all we have to do is just type in a name for what we want the first action to be so for this one let's just say it's flashlight for the second one we can say focus we can tap to add another one if we want this one we can say photo, tap another one, let's say video, tap another one, alarm, and so on. Once you're done, tap done, and you'll see all of those that you created appear here. And at this point, all you have to do is find the action app or whatever it is, and just add it. So flashlight, you see we have set flashlight here. We're gonna drag that underneath flashlight. Again, this one says turn on. So we tap on turn, make sure the toggle so it can turn on and off. We have focus here, so we'll tap on here and tap focus. Set focus is what we want, unless you want the current focus. We'll tap set focus. We'll hold here, tap that under focus. It says turn do not disturb off. We can tap here and toggle. Do not disturb work, sleep, YouTube, whatever. We have photo here, so let's just take a photo. So camera, and if we scroll down a little bit, take a photo. We'll drag that right here. Take one photo with back camera. So you can tap here. You can add more, less, whatever you want. It's going to just let you press that button to take one photo instantly. 
You can choose again from your back or front camera, whichever. And here, this time, you have the show camera preview. If you want that on or off, you can select that there. Underneath video, we'll type in video here. Find that one right there. And again, the same options that you had before are available. Last alarm. So we have some options here. Edit sleep alarm. Add alarm. That's the one we want. Add the alarm in right here and we can put it under alarm. Again, you can tap in those little boxes called alarm. You can have it repeat or snooze, whatever you wanna do there. When you're done, you're done. And now all you have to do, settings, action settings, go to your shortcut, change it over to the new menu you created. If you can't find it, type it in. Now we've got it set to menu two. Now when we press and hold on that action button, we have all of these options. We can tap on our focus and it's going to turn focus off. If we tap on it, it's gonna turn focus back on. Photo, alarm, and it'll give you the opportunity here to set the alarm for whatever times, and then you can just tap done. But like I said, you have so many options and abilities that you can use within this Shortcuts app, and all it takes for you is to just scroll down categories, all categories, and you can see all actions here, calls, if you want to have it specifically call someone. And then you have all these that are built into that action application that we downloaded. But look at how many you have. You can really get creative here with this. And all it takes is a little time to set it up. And then you have an action button that has multiple functions that will allow you to do so much more than just silence your phone. So that was how to use the action button with multiple clicks on the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. I'm happy to help you out. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. The full link to all the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max tips, tricks and tutorials is in the description if you're looking to learn more. As always, I will see you in the next one.